Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went on a Polaris Survival server and we're going to go from absolutely nothing to a lot of PvP and even doing some solo base raids. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal, I will be doing more Polaris content in the future. Also subscribe if you haven't already, each one helps the child grow its son and I would like to also thank you all for 36,000 subscribers. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a soul shed serenity fed hat. If you all want to win this mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel member also have a higher chance of winning, and if you guys want to become a channel members and help the channel grow even more, make sure to click the join button below. Also want to give them a huge shout out for their support. But before we head into the video, I would like to shout out today's sponsor. Are you guys looking to start your own hunter network with survival roleplay or even just a private server to play with your buddies? Then make sure to check out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can set up your server in a very short time. The performance is very high quality and extremely easy to use and to learn. When I started off with my own LDG network, I literally had no idea how to do anything, but with Pine Hosting's easy navigation, it only took me a few seconds to just learn the basics. They have locations all around the globe, cheap and affordable pricing, and have hostings for multiple games, such as Rust, Ark, and Minecraft. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is the fact that with just one click, you can install plugins and mods into your servers. Got a server with another provider? Don't worry, they will personally help you move your server as well. If you guys want to start your own on server, make sure to check out the link in the description below and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so I'm currently on Polaris. Now I'm not gonna be solo, I'm currently teaming with some friends, some of my clan members. But currently I'm doing a solo run, trying to get myself some loot. Now, apparently this team does grind a bit. I played on the servers some time ago, and I did log off with some loot in my vault, but nothing that insane. I'm pretty sure I just have a Brente and like one extra bullet. Yeah, there's a guy over there. Alright, he is dead, let's go. There's even more shots though. And he has a Vector, Thompson. Now this server is pretty much normal loot, it's not multiplier loot, so getting loot still isn't that easy. There are some kids, but nothing that insane, I think the best kid that you can get is a kid that gives you a kidney. That's basically it. I really don't know where those guys were shooting from. Alright, yeah, let's accept CPA. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to try to raid some bases, try to kill as much people as possible. Now apparently my team lives in the bunker as well. That's a pretty nice location. I still have, don't have a bed there though. Now earlier I did mention that they are my clan members. If you guys want to join my clan, where basically it's just a bunch of people that want to play together and have the chance to be in a video, I have a link in the description below. It's somewhere where you don't really need to be a pro gamer. If you just want to play with friends... Okay. Well, there was a guy in here. He's dead. He has a bunch of guns, though. He has Vector, Grill, Moses, Thompson, a bunch of food as well. I mean, we'll take all of the guns, though, for sure. The guns are very important. Especially on a server with normal times loot, and we're a group. There's somebody shooting Brenter, dude. Somebody's trying to raid. That seems close as well. We need to try to find out where they are. Yeah, they're still going on. I don't know if we have... Uh... Oh, now it's double, actually. There's two Brenters being shot, but I don't, I don't know if we have raiding gear to counter raid. Just in case they sealed off. I really, really hope that we do. They need to keep shooting so I figure out where they are though. There's people sniping as well. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere behind Millie though, for sure. There's some people shooting as well. Alright, so we found it. They're inside. They sealed off. They're raiding the barn. Yeah, I hear them raid. There's some loot glitching out. Oh, there's a modded gun. I got a, a penumbra. Okay, well, there we go. Easy penumbra. It glitched through. We got that. That's kind of funny. I don't think we can enter, though. And we don't have raiding gear. Maybe we do, but we can maybe try to go from that wall. I think that would be the, ch the best way to get inside. Yeah, they just broke a locker inside. There's people screaming inside. I have no idea what they're saying. Yeah, we have C4. We could easily go through. Yeah, they know it. Oh, it's that duo that this guy is speaking. It's a duo inside. I do have one C4 and a Detto in my vault. And a Brenter and a Shot. Now, this server, I don't know how raiding works. I think there's a raiding protection if it's offline. Unless these guys build behind them. Yeah, they're just inside. I, I don't know what they're saying, man. But a Polaris in general, I still don't think it'll be enough with 1c4. Pretty sure it takes 2 to just even raid normally. I have a bunch of guns on me, I don't really want to lose them if we die. Yeah, they're, they're still saying stuff in there. Oh, please let me know what they're saying. I have no idea. They could be saying the most horrific things ever and I wouldn't even realize. There's also people shooting shotguns kind of close, so you need to be careful that we don't get countered. While we're trying to counter the counter raiders. Alright, so for now we did leave. There's somebody shooting shotgun right here. Oh yeah, my guy's right over there. There you go, he's annihilated anything good. 
Hey, he has some good stuff. He has four guns on him. That's a lot, man. He has a police backpack, so I mean, we could take that instead. Uh, doesn't really matter, to be honest. There's even more people. Yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, they just killed somebody, okay. Seems like a lot of people are around this area as well. There's not that much people on, but the only few that there are, they're just here. Oh, there's a mega zombie. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, grenade launcher. I will take it. Would have loved to got a broken gas mask so I can get my own gas mask. I don't think my teammates have extra gas masks, to be honest. Now, last time we actually played here, I played here with a duo, with a friend of mine. And we did a really nice progression. We did a very insane base trade. We got countered as well, but we still managed to get a lot of loot. And we did log off with uh, most of it, but... When I logged back on, I didn't have anything, so maybe my teammate, he does still have some stuff, but I don't think he's gonna get on anyway. Alright, so I TP'd straight to their base. Generator or something. Uh, no, I don't have a generator. I, I need a bed, though. But yeah, I'm gonna drop them everything that I got. They could decide if they need it or not. And yeah, we're living on a... Yeah, we're living in a bunker. I actually really like living in bunkers. They're very easy to do. Very, very easy to take over. They can be well protected as well. These guys are still inside. I'm getting shot at. Another dude here. He's dead. Oh, nice. All right, my teammate killed the other dude. These guys are still inside. I think they're still trying to raid. He has a drill, military drives, a bunch of meds. That was pretty good kill, actually. He has a jerry can. We can make a horde out of that. Lovely. But yeah, these guys are still inside this base. There's a dead guy in here. Even more radios. Oh, he has some high tier loot, actually. He has a mercenary helmet, SWAT vest, or PMC vest. Nice. Insane load, dude. Personary vest as well, a bunch of meds, a bunch of ammo, billion med kits. There's a guy in there. Yeah, he's dead. He got destroyed. Anything good, bro? Oh, he has some good stuff, actually. He has a broken gauze mask, that's huge. Other than that, a bunch of guns. He has two rattlesnakes for some reason. Alright, let's wear the mercenary helmet. There we go. Dude, we went kind of from nothing and we just PvP. We got uh, lots of loot, man. We got some of the highest tier of uh, clothes, weapons, everything. Literally racks to riches. There's a heli over here as well. We can try to get this. Yeah, these guys are still in. We're gonna go literally all in now. We brought C4. I have no idea again what they are saying. I'm gonna give my teammate the detonator because they don't have one. We're gonna go and we're gonna push. We're gonna see, hopefully, if we can actually kill them. I don't know if they're actually counter raiding or if they took it over now as well. I think that's what happened. Oh, yes, yeah, sir, broke. There's loot on the floor. Oh, he's right here. He's dead. Oh, he's geared. Gunpowder. Brenter ammo. Fully decked out weapons. Is there nothing inside these crates? Oh, yeah. Let's accept TPA. Yeah, they took it over. They have doors everywhere now. They kind of closed it as well. A bunch of junk, but sadly... Oh, there's a bunch of items we can make. Lotus is in here, actually. That's pretty nice. Let's take that Moses. Yeah, inside this crate, nothing that crazy. A lot of shots outside going on. I have no idea what is happening. But I did get some pretty good loot, man. I'm really happy with the Brenter shots, especially. Yeah, we're outside. They're still inside. They're inside the hatch. And honestly, I don't think there's going to be anything down there. There's a bunch of ammo over here. A bunch of guns. Even more guns. Jackhammer and another Krizzy. All right, well, we technically did kind of counter raid them. They're inside that armored hatch, but honestly, I don't think it's where to even try to raid it. Because down there is very, very small and probably there's nothing inside. Alright, so we actually did get the heli. Huge W. And we're gonna fly it, hopefully, close to where our bunker is. One of my teammates has a glitch. Under him, there's, like, the ground pounder effect. Looks kind of goofy. I don't know what's going on with that. There's a heli above us as well. I don't know what he's trying to do. There's a bunch of loot on the floor. Is he, are they trying to... Dude, he's just saying stuff. There's a random dude here as well. And he's dead. Yeah, and they're gone. Oh, I hit him. Yeah, I mean, they won't jump off for any of that, for sure. Let's see what this dude had. He had a Polaris flower, for sure. Uh, Thompson. Two flowers, actually. That's pretty nice. All right, so I found ourselves a base that we can raid. It's a weird design. It's like a tower with a small uh, bunch of triangles at the start. At the sides. We're gonna use Brenter for now. I do have quite a ton of Brenter ammo. Especially from that last counter we did. If I remember correctly, it should take Tick's shots. We're putting four. Fifth one now. Yeah, one more shot and we should be through. Oh, yes, sir. All right, there's a staircase. Hopefully, we can make that jump, actually. I just realized, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, I literally just fell off again. <laughs> yeah, we can. All right, perfect. All right, now we should probably go inside here. So, another six shots will go through. All right, yes, sir, we are through. There's a despawned player. Nothing that insane, though. A bunch of guns. A bunch of more guns. 
And then there's nothing that insane here, but there's some lockers though that we should raid. So it's not their detonator, that's pretty cool. I think we should go with the C4. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna raid with the C4. There's a broken gauss mask over there as well, we'll take that. A bunch of fully decked out weapons though. There's a sniper that looks like it's pretty good as well. Yeah, let's kill this dude so he can just respawn. Alright, here we go. Oh, that broke everything. Uh, three detonators, a bunch of grenades, a bunch of PvP guns. Yeah, there's nothing that insane. This raid does kind of booty cheeks. Let's go down, maybe there's something below. And we broke through, looks like there's two wardrobes, a bunch of clothes, a bunch of logs. Uh, there's nothing else in this base. Yeah, this is not really a good raid, uh, sadly. Right, there's people outside, but we did build behind us. I have no idea what's going on. Alright, so I assume we're gonna try to push outside. I'm salvaging the wall. Where even is he? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, poor guy didn't have anything. There's a guy there inside a car. He's dead. He got literally lasered down, bro. Alright, so I'm currently running around as a solo. My teammates did leave. There's a naked here. Are you locked up with two Polaris roses? I'll take that gladly. So what I'm gonna do as a solo, I'm just gonna try to run around. Some PvP, I'm gonna try to look maybe for some insane base raids. There's a dude right over here. Yes, sir, he is dead. Anything... Oh, he actually is kind of geared. Night Vision, Sniper, Merlin. Lovely. It's a better backpack than what I've had. We have Night Vision as well. Alright, let's home. I wanna depot all of the slots. Alright, so I already found something I can raid. Nothing that's insane, it's not that big, but still pretty decent. Now what I need to do is land straight on the lead there, so that I can place a charge. Yeah, it is possible. It's kind of annoying sometimes to do it with third person. Yeah, there we go. Now I do have two C4 in vaults. I'm gonna put one right over here. And the other one I can just jump off and place it there. I, mean, I think I placed that a bit incorrectly to be honest. Alright, so I'm gonna salvage the ladder so that it doesn't accidentally break. Now let's hope for some insane loot inside, man. Let's put the first one, yeah, didn't break. Let's put the second one. We are through. Now we put the ladder again. Already see some loot on the floor. Let's see what's here. Nothing good though, just a kinney. I'm gonna take everything because I don't know what my teammates need. Oh, oh my god, this guy is geared. Bro, he has a gauss mask full mercenary. Yeah, my guy logged off with all of the good loot for me. Check the armored plates, all of the gump out there. You know, people don't realize on the server that when they log off with all of the good loot, it actually is easier to get than if they leave them in their lockers. All of that gunpowder is literally already profit, man. There's a bunch of lockers as well. Alright, so this one has a uh, pretty okay loot PMC. A billion drums. Yeah, my inventory is full. So what I'm gonna do is on the server, you can have two beds. I'm gonna uh, put a bed right over here. There's even more crates here. Let's just do that. Alright, this one has a bunch of guns, even more guns. Brenters. Yeah, this one. Two Brenters. Beautiful. Car jack. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna home, I'm gonna home to main base, and I'm gonna put all of the best loot there. Then we'll home back here to the second base. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually rebuild where I raided, so people cannot come and take all of the loot and destroy my bed. Alright, so we made a pillar. Honestly, all I really need is a wall. Second pillar, let's get ourselves a wall, we'll place that there. And now we can salvage the ladder as well. I think that's, that's pretty safe. Alright, so I brought myself one charge. Hopefully this will break two lockers. Yeah, dead broke at the whole base basically. Well, PMC helmet, bunch of guns. There's another penumbra over there. Nico, bunch of sniper ammo. Oh, this base looks like they just focused on PvP me mostly. But I mean, I'll take all of the goodies. Still pretty happy with it. Alright, so we're back. Brought myself the Brentse. Should only take three shots per locker. Already put one. We can put two more. Let's get ourselves a final shot. Well, bunch of ammo, penumbra ammo, that's pretty nice. Alright, so I'm currently grinding to get tape. All I need to make more C4 is literally just tape, there we go. Beautiful. Now, I did find myself some more raids very close to the one I just did, so I'm just gonna try to raid them very, very soon. They're both wooden. Nothing that insane, though. One of them is like a hexagon-type base. The other one is a 2 by 2 Hopefully, they will have pretty good loot like the one that I just did, man. Same time, we're trying to get some money. You can buy stuff in the server, you can buy gunpowder for 500 and each zombie gives you one. And each zombie gives you five bucks. So basically with 100 zombies you can buy a gunpowder. But yeah, we should have everything now. It looks so weird when all of your teammates are offline and you can see it where they actually locked off. Kinda wish that it's on every server to be honest though. So I'm trying to find the last few items I need. Yeah, we could strip the grenade launcher for a grenade and we'll just turn it into a normal grenade. Any more grenades? Yeah, there we go. Alright, we got a C4, beautiful. We just need more grenades to make more. I'm pretty sure we have around though. Maybe in these billion crates over here. If I don't have a single grenade... Oh yeah, never mind. There we go, we got two C4. 
Beautiful. Put those in vault. Need to avoid the detail as well. Alright, so this is the first base we're going to trade. We put a ladder over there. What we're going to do is we're going to use a C4 and then we're going to use one Brentier shot. That should be enough to actually go through. Yeah, we didn't raid it though. Oh wait, I thought I broke the ladder, but I didn't. Never mind. So now we take the Brentier out, take a bullet out as well, and we should be through to the base. Wait, I kind of forgot which one I actually put it on, but I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. All right, and we have a billion crates over here. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a triangular roof so people can't counter. All right, let's see. So we already have one cyan crystal. This one has a PvP gun. That one doesn't really have anything. 12.7 bucks. Beautiful. Two radios. Rattlesnake. Nothing good. Nothing good. Flowers. Nothing good in that one. I don't know what that gun is though. Night vision. I'll wear that actually. And here there's nothing, just some metal, nothing, cloth, bunch more cloth. Okay, well, there's not really that much good loot in this base. I mean, the 10 shots are nice, but I, that's kind of what we got. There's still these two lockers that we need to raid though, so maybe the, the main loot is inside those. Alright, let's pray there's something good. There's a two-man base. Let's unbox this. And then after, we'll go to the second raid that I found. Now, these lockers only take three shots, so yeah, I do have more than enough. Oh yeah, we broke it and... Okay, well, there's a fully decked out false chair. There's another Brent chair we could strip for its bullet. Other than that, two Dettos, grenade. I'll take that false chair. That looks really good. All right, let's stack actually all of the junk that I have. We don't really need these much detonators, to be honest. The only use for them is just to explode stuff. We can't turn them into horde beacons like vanilla. All right, let's check out the second locker has. Hopefully better loot. Oh yeah, I did break and... Uh, well, night vision... Bunch of PvP guns. Oh yeah, this raid wasn't that insane to be honest. We basically got a bunch of junk. All right, let's head onwards to the second raid now. Hopefully that one will be better. All right, here we go. Oh, well, insane base raid, bro. All right, boys, after that, I did continue on around a bit. Got myself a few kills, but nothing that's insane. And after that, I did leave the server. After that, the server kind of died out, sadly, so I didn't really return on it. But if I do see more players playing there in the future, then I will try to record another video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.